Praise the Lord. Welcome to the Voice of Seven Thunders, a podcast of the Church of God. We are your host. I'm Brother Ernest Binion Jr. We have Brother Steph Hargrave here, live from the International Camp Meeting in West Milton, Ohio, United States of America. I say that because this is an international meeting. We've got here people from Germany. We have people from Austria, people Mexico. from Mexico, Philippines, yes, Canada. Haiti, Canada. This is an international meeting, and we want to say if you're not here you're missing something <laughs> absolutely amazing yes, sir. it's uh, hot here but um not as hot as the meetings have been brother steve amen the messages have been hot and amen. um we just got done with another service here this morning it's sunday the 27th of may and we had a special preacher preach this morning praise the lord brother stephen o'shea how are you brother amen doing good thank the lord thank the lord brother amen so, Brother Steve, why don't you get us started, Brother? Yes. Brother O'Shea is here joining us because we are proud of him and proud of what the Lord's done. Right. The brother is an 18-year-old preacher, and not just that, he is quite a preacher. Amen. Preached quite a message, and the title of the message was, Not a Bone Broken, is what I have written down. And one thing that he said, I'm going to give you an opportunity to speak here, one thing that Brother O'Shea said that, uh, first of all, I'm going to repeat the message, you really need to get it, Not a Bone Broken. Brother O'Shea. And so one thing he said in the beginning, he said, the world has lost its love, its loyalty, and its brotherhood. And that's basically how he began the message. So Brother O'Shea, please help us to know something about uh, what your burden is when you say the world has lost its love, its loyalty, and its brotherhood. Behold that, brother. Well, it seems like young people have totally lost consideration of each other. We just had in recent months shootings, Parkland, Florida, uh, Texas, and there's, there's many others. And the city's shootings have become a common, a common occurrence. Mm -hmm. And people have lost their loyalty one for another. And common people have forgot to meet on the common grounds of manhood. Amen. Amen. Well, I was just going to say, and what's interesting here in your point that you just pointed out, it's not just adults killing adults, but it's actually young people that are also committing these crimes against their own generation. And that's a part of the problem. Is that, is that, is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. And then also, you talked about, in the message, you talked about some solutions or solutions that people have tried. And another thing that I wrote down, people have tried to be unified around disunity or they have agreed to disagree. And then we went into, I know your Bible's open to John 17, Brother Ernest, we went into the scripture right away in John 17. And I wish you would read, can, can you read the sure. verse 20? Yes, so John chapter 17, verse 20. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Mm -hmm. And what you said is, uh, and, and read one more verse because sure. I want to get Brother O'Shea's uh, he said something very important. I want to get it here. Verse 21. They, that they may all be one. Excuse me. Let me read that again. That they all may be one as thou, Father, art in me and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. All right. And so Brother O'Shea said, and again, I was taking notes. Uh, it was an excellent message. Brother O'Shea said, the world will only believe in God and believe truly when they see God's people as one. So I'm going to hand you the mic, Brother O'Shea. Can you elaborate a little bit on that when you say the world will only believe? Because right now your point is obviously that they don't believe, and the result of that disbelief is the lack of love, lack of loyalty, lack of brotherhood. So can you elaborate on that? The world only believe it when they see God's people as being one. So I think that everybody in their life just wants a friend. And I believe a lot of people are sick of the shootings and of the of the overall trouble and people want a community and that's how people are going to believe in God is when his church is united. It's very good. It's very good. And then he went over to, the brother went over to John 19. Of course, we're not going to give you the entire message, but it was a wonderful message. And he brought out the point that though the Lord Jesus and his crucifixion went through very much, went through beating, he was marred more than any other man, spat upon. He went through the fact that even though all that happened, what did not happen is that a bone was broken. And again, back to the title, not a bone broken. So give us, give us actually, for the sake of the audience, what's mm -hmm. the symbolism there that you were drawing out in that, in that example that you used from John chapter 19, verse 30? So a bone, so we are the body of Christ. Amen. 
and on the cross his body wasn't broken as a symbolism of the church in the ages to come not being able to be, the unity would not be able to be broken no matter what happened that's right that's right. very good. Very and, good. And so also, so you're saying that part of the death of Christ, because at this point he was dead, they were coming to break his bone, and the reason they didn't is because they found that Christ was dead already. So you made a point that I thought was excellent, that Christ Jesus just didn't die to save individuals, or the blood wasn't spilled just for that. Can you, I, I'm going to hand the mic back to you, can you tell a little bit more about that? You said that in the message, but a little bit more about why he died. So Jesus died for the salvation of souls, but the salvation of souls is not complete without the unity of the church because there's no community for them to be a part of, no people for them to be with. And so in a sense, he didn't just die for salvation as some people would say, but he died for salvation through unity. So Brother Stephen, this is, um, this is actually quite a lofty idea that you're talking about. And th this question is absolutely for the audience. This is a setup question. <laughs> um, that's, a, that's a lofty idea. It's actually quite, um, I would say in most minds, mystical. Or at best, ecumenical, which you said in your message, ecumenicalism is actually an agreement on a disagreement, which is not an agreement, right? It's an oxymoron. It's, it's, it can't be possible. So... <laughs> Where do we point people to? How do we show them the community? What is community? How do we point them? What is the answer? If you had a chance to speak to your fellow generation, what would you tell them, those that are suffering? We have people, like you said, in Parkland, in Santa Fe, recently in Indiana, um, that are suffering right now because of, of this lack of community. What would you talk to them? What would you say, brother? I would say we need to stand together as young people, and uh, we have to back each other up on the right principles, have principles and build a community around principles and uh, stand by each other in those, in those times and to prevent those times. Where, where, mm -hmm. When you say stand by each other, where are they going to find us? <laughs> right here on the campground. <laughs> <That's laughs> my right. brother said right here on the camp. Okay, so what, you, what you're saying is, and, and let me elaborate a little bit, what you're saying is that Jesus died to make this community and that this community is only possible through the blood of Jesus and that's where it will be found and that's what the Lord is doing here and that's one reason why we're even talking and, about this. And we'll shooting. add, it's not mystically either. It's not right. an invisible community that we just say, well, we all believe and somehow we're all going to back one another, support one another, but we're talking about a visible unity of people that are together physically, like you and I are here mm -hmm. with our diversities, with our nationalities, with our tongues, that we're all here in one visible true church, that that is the answer. That is the Amen. answer this evening. Amen. Do you want to read the other scripture you had that you were oh, thinking about, brother? Yes, brother. I do we want should, to read we, it. I, I turned away from people. it, but Psalm 1. While he's turning to his Bible, I want to remind you that you can find us on www.churchofgod.net that's our website you can find us on Facebook you can find us on Twitter again www.churchofgod.net Amen and the scripture in Psalm 133 well known well known but rarely seen yes brother yes brother Psalm 133 1 behold how, how good. good yes sir and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity and that brethren is dealing with the entirety of the human family. That's right. Those that come under the, uh, the religion, the true religion of the Lord Jesus Christ and are saved by his blood. And what I gather from the message of, among very many things, what I gather from the message is that there is one community that the Lord came to establish. And without that, we have all of the mayhem and all of the hurt and all of the pain that we see today. So I want to tell you that if you are not here with us, which if you're listening to this, you probably aren't, that you want to get this message. If you'll find us, if you go to our website, again, www.churchofgod.net, you'll find the message there. Again, we have an 18-year-old young man just fresh out of school, prepared to, what are do, what do you doing this next few months? Uh, I'm going to be going to Ireland for Ireland. for out. Which you've done before, yes? Yes, sir. So not only he's is he a preach. preacher at 18, <laughs> which he's done for more than a year, but he's also traveled the world preaching the gospel, mm -hmm. find him in Dublin area and all over Ireland. Get this message. You, you, you want to hear this message. There's healing in this message. There's hope Amen. in this message for the entire world. We want to thank you for joining us on the Voice of Seven Thunders, the podcast of the Church of God. May the Lord bless you.